Welcome to this historic moment, the first ever conference of the Fellowship of Former Christian Scientists. We're so glad you're here. And we're so glad to be welcoming former Christian scientists from seven different states. Um, it's pretty exciting. And we're, we're especially glad to have our speakers here. Um, John Andrews, we're welcoming him from Ananias. And um, uh, Linda Kramer from Christian Way. So um, we're really honored to have you here joining us. And uh, we're just so glad to be, be here together. My name is Catherine Bimesha. And most of you know me as Katie. Um, I am going to be going by Catherine now publicly out of respect to my sister-in-law, who married my brother, Andy. Um, and her name is Katie Bimesha, and she is still a Christian scientist and works for the Mother Church and publishes for them, and has asked me to um, distinguish our names out of respect for her and um, out of love for her. I have decided to honor that request, so I will be going by Catherine. And as many of you know, I was raised um, a Christian scientist. I actually grew up on the campus of the Principia School, which is a school for Christian scientists. And um, I love my faith. Um, in college, after 9-11, I did leave Christian science when I realized that there was evil in the world. It was very hard for me, and I, I lived without religion for, for many years until um, 2009 when I was baptized right here at Grace and Peace Fellowship. And um, I'll tell more of my story. But um, since then, I've gone to Covenant Seminary and graduated last year with a degree in Educational Ministries and really felt God calling me to, um, to pursue a ministry to Christian scientists, to former and current Christian scientists. And in December, um, we had a prayer meeting starting the fellowship of the former Christian scientists. And um, so we're, the ministry is about seven, seven months old, and uh, it's pretty exciting to be here all together for our first conference. I'd also like to introduce Remington Vickers, um, who joined uh, the ministry helping with this work um, in February. He does not have a background in Christian science, but has a great um, love for, for people who have been affected by different religions. Um, he has a background in philosophy and um, has really grown a heart for Christian Zionists. And he's just been a wonderful partner in this ministry and um, has been a co-organizer of the conference uh, this weekend. So I'm just really grateful to introduce him and to introduce him to you all. Um, I'm grateful for his help. Um, we're also grateful to have Ed Kleinman of Small Cloud Ministries here. He's providing a book table for us, um, so feel free to um, look at the table and choose a book for yourself or for someone you know who might be helped by that. We're also grateful to have many um, non-Christian scientists here who are helping us with various parts of the conference. We really appreciate their help and with music and food and just um, the way that this community is really walking alongside this this ministry and this time here together, um, it really is meaningful. Um, one person I want to thank and, and uh, specifically is uh, Dave Hagler, who is recording our sessions. And we are hoping to um, record our teaching, and we're hoping to make these um, these sessions available for people. Um, there are many people who weren't able to come to the conference, and uh, people who are just interested, and we'd love to be able to um, post them or make them available for people who might be interested. Um, but please know that we are only videotaping the speaker. Um, we have former Christian scientists here who have been out of Christian science for decades, and some who have only been out for a year or two. And we're all at different parts in our journeys, in our conversations with loved ones who are still in Christian science. Um, the FFCS is a safe place, and we want um, our participation to be um, as private or as public as we all are ready for. And so I just really ask everyone to respect that and to just respect people's comfort levels. Some people are ready to share and some people are ready to listen and both stances are good. I ask everyone to respect that we are former Christian scientists in a grieving process too. Some of our stories are really difficult and painful and all of them include a lot of loss. Loss of family, loss of relationships, 
loss of community, health. Some even involve a loss of a loved, loved one. Some of us haven't begun to process our stories, and some of us are angry. Some of us are sad, and some of us feel a lot of guilt. Some of us just long to share our faith relationally with loved ones, with family members who are still in CS. And these are all things that can be brought to the table here at the FFCS. I was recently reading a book on grief which talked about our need for tears, talk, and time. Our goal at the FFCS is to provide words, resources, and a community to encourage each other in tears, talk, and time. We want to walk alongside each other as we um, process leaving Christian science, as we reach out to others. And we hope that every former Christian scientist could break free from feeling alone, from feeling bitter and despairing. Bitterness, isolation, and despair often characterize those who leave Christian science and it often leads people to becoming atheists. And maybe this has been part of your story. Whatever your story, and however you're coming here today, we're just glad that you're here. And we welcome you, and we want to know you better. In fact, our overarching conference theme is being known. Uh, Christian philosopher Esther Meek, in her little manual of knowing, <laughs> writes that essential to the process of knowing is the transition of moving from a 2D reality of coping, and we understand coping, to a 3D communion of both the knower and the known. So imagine, if you will, a small child coming to know an elephant. At first, she knows it from her picture book, right? And then she goes on an elephant ride. Imagine her response. Oh, it's so big. Oh, that's what the trunk is for. What a funny smell. Esther writes that knowing is a gift. Knowing is a surprising and often delightful experience. It requires wonder, interest, and the giving in to reality. What is real? not just what we'd like to be true. <laughs> it's, it requires looking at the good, warm and fuzzy, but also the challenging and uncomfortable parts. Yes, elephants smell, and they are quite hairy. Esther describes knowing as a dance of invitation and indwelling. To know and to be known is an act of love. Love is necessary. And when knowing is done in love, Esther rightly claims, it can lead to restoration, to peace, to wholeness, and shalom. This is a beautiful picture, and I pray that we can have a taste of this this weekend. So as we come together, let's try not to make 2D assumptions of our experiences in Christian science, but instead ask questions, seek understanding, and celebrate what God is doing in us in the midst of our struggles and our joys. This is a time and space to know and to be known. Within this context of knowing, we have four main pathways for our time together this weekend. Tonight we are celebrating. We are celebrating with worship, with food, and our stories. We are celebrating the gift of freedom from Christian science, as well as rejoicing in being known now in Christ, being known in the four-part story of redemption. Tomorrow we'll take time to recognize more fully some of the broken reality of our past. It may be a little uncomfortable. <laughs> Knowing involves the good and some more um, uncomfortable, darker parts of the story. And, Dr. Linda Kramer will be walking with us through that part. Then we'll be, um, be thinking about um, scripture. Aaron Turner will help us think about what it means to reconcile the different teaching um, between Christian science and scripture, and how having a biblically-based understanding of God and man can affect how we live. And finally, we'll consider with Professor Mark Ryan how we can reach out 
relationally to others, building bridges and sharing our faith rather than just uh, burning them. And we're excited to take some time to cast some vision and help you know some more about the fellowship of former Christian scientists too. The time will go quickly and will probably not be enough, but this is okay. I pray that we won't worry about um, saying everything that needs to be said, feeling everything that needs to be felt, and learning everything that needs to be learned. This is just the beginning. Part of the beauty of being known is that it's an invitation to love and be loved. It's relational, and that it occurs through time and space. God has called each one of us here today. And let's just pray that the Lord will bless this time together, this time he's given us. And just to put on our hearts what is needed for today. Let's pray that the Lord will be very close to us this weekend, shaping, guiding, 